Salut les amis. You are welcome back to Olive Academy. This is just the continuation of the previous chapter, like chapter 2, chapitre 2. S'identifier et identifier des personnes. Leçon 1, s'identifier ou se présenter. So let's continue. Today's lesson. Demande d'identification. Demande d'identification. Demande d'identification. Asking about someone or identification request. Let us learn how to ask about someone, of course, in French. Question. Réponse. Question. Réponse. Comment t'appelles-tu? Répétez. Comment t'appelles-tu? What is your name? Réponse. Je m'appelle. So in the pre in the previous video, you have learned how to talk about oneself. So over here, you complete with your name. So je m'appelle Oliver Dumegan. So that is my name. So I will say je m'appelle Oliver Dumegan. So, in the uh, response column, or uh, over here, you are going to complete it with what you have learned in the previous video. Tu as quel âge? Tu as quel âge? Tu as quel âge? Tu as quel âge? How old are you? Yeah. How do, you, how do you say your age in French? So, yeah, and you add your age. Quelle est ta profession? Quelle est ta profession? Quelle est ta profession? What is your profession? Je suis, je suis, then you add your profession in French, of course. Tu travailles où? Tu travailles où? 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 Tu travailles où? Where do you work? Je travaille à, je travaille à, you add the name of your workplace. If you are student, tu fréquentes quelle école? Tu fréquentes quelle école? Which school do you attend? Can you say, je fréquente you? That should be your response. Je fréquente, then you add your school's name. For instance, if you are attending Olive Academy, you say, Je fréquente Olive Academy. Je fréquente Olive Academy. If you are not attending Olive Academy, say je fréquente, then you mention the name of your school. Tu habites où? Tu habites où? Where do you live? J'habite à J'habite à, and you add where you stay. Or, j'habite, so in the previous video, you have learned the difference between j'habite à and j'habite. So this one, you mention the town, and this one it is the area. Or, j'habite à, then you add the town if you are living in a town or a city you add it or a village you add the name of the village or the town over here in the area 
so in the previous video you have also learned how to put the two in uh, one sentence that is the end of today's lesson so your assignment is to complete this part with your particulars and uh, complete this part okay merci beaucoup in the next video we are going to learn different ways of asking these questions so don't miss any of the videos we are going to learn what different ways of asking these questions merci beaucoup au revoir